Hi, hello class. Okay, so today um, we are going to start to look at comparing numbers that are including decimals. Um, we've compared numbers in the past and we've compared fractions last week, so it's pretty um, straightforward in terms of looking at these three symbols. So with three, these three symbols, we have got less than, greater than, and equivalent to or equals, okay? So we're going to use these three symbols today to fill in our boxes. So we are going to fill in um, our boxes along here, like you can see, and and we're actually going to um, complete whether it's less than, greater than, or equivalent to. So when we do this, um, we are going to look here, and we have to actually look at numbers underneath. Um, so for example, this one, I've got 33.6 and this one I've got 33.5. So we always know that we start with the most significant number. So here uh, in my tens and in my units column, I've got, sorry, in my tens and in my tens column, I've got a three. Okay. So they are both the same. So there's no actual difference between that. So then I move on to the next most significant number. In my units column, I've got a three. And in this units column, I've also got a three. So um, again, they have the same value, 33 and 33. So I move on then to my next most significant number. My next one here, in my tenths column is a six, and in this tenths column is a five. So which one of those is smaller? Is it the six or is it the five? Now we know that five tenths is smaller than six tenths. Therefore, I have to use um, my greater than symbol, which is this one, okay? And that's because 33.6 is greater than 33.5. If you remember, this little symbol, it points to the smallest number, okay? So the smallest part here is on the smallest number, and the largest part of the arrow is on the largest number, okay? So that's just a starter for you guys. Now when we actually move on to have a look at this one, you can see that I don't have the same number of digits. This one has got one, two, three digits, and this has got one, two, three, four digits. So I need to make sure that I'm looking at um, the correct number to start with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually label these. So I've got tens units. This is the tenths column as we know, and this is the hundredths column. And I'm going to do the same, my decimal points there. So this is my units, this is my tens column, and then this is my tenths. Now to make it fair, we have to have the same amount of digits, okay? So this one has only got three digits, this one has got four. Now we know that if I was told to add a number on to the end of this to make it have the same amount of digits, then you know that I could add a zero and it wouldn't add anything to that number because it's after the decimal place. We know that if we did it in front of that, it would change the value of the number. You would end up with 340.7. So we have to do it here at the end in the hundredths column so that I just have no hundredths, but at least it's fair for me to compare with this. So when I have a look at this number, I've got 34. And here, I've also got 34. So then, I have to move on to my next most significant number. In my tenths column, I've got a seven, and in my tenths column, I've got a zero. Now, quite often, if I hadn't have put the zero here, people would say, oh, well, that's got one digit, and that's got two digits after the decimal point. Therefore, this one must be bigger. But, as we know, that is not the case, because we look at the most significant number. The most significant number for this one here is a seven, and in the tenth column here is a zero. Therefore, which one is bigger, seven or zero? Correct. The tenths for the seven is larger. So if this is the largest, this is greater than this, I'm going to have this symbol, aren't I? Okay? So well done if you got that correct. I'm going to go through a few more examples before I then ask you guys to do some by yourself. Now, straight away, when we look at this one, we can see that actually this first number, 6.8, has got two digits. This number, however, has got um, three digits, six, eight, and a two. So I'm going to label these. Sometimes you might feel like you don't need to do this, but quite often it helps me, so I'm going to do it. So this is my unit column. 
Then I have my decimal point, and then after my units, I've got tenths, and then I've got hundredths. Okay? So, don't forget, this has only got two digits, and this has got three. So, how can I make it fair? The way I'm going to make it fair, if it's a decimal, is by adding a zero to make sure that I've got three digits like I do here. So, we're going to start then with our most significant number, six. Oh, and this is a six the same. So I need to then move on to my next most significant number, which is my tenths. So I've got eight tenths here, and here I've got eight tenths as well. So then I have to move on to my next. Now, if I didn't have this here, I'd think, oh, well, I can't do anything here, and I might get a little bit confused. So that's why I've made sure I've got this in place. So I have no hundredths, and here I've got two hundredths. So which is largest? 6.8 or 6.82? Is the zero larger or is the two larger? Well done. We know that two hundredths is larger. Therefore, my arrow points this way to my smallest number. So 6.8 is less than 6.82. Okay? So now let's have a look at this one. 73.1 and 70.1. So they've both got the same amount of digits. They've both got the decimal place. They've both got tens and units. Tens and units. They've both got only one tenth. So what do I need to do? Again, I start at my most significant number. And here, they've both got seven tens. So I'm then going to my look, at my, look at my next most significant number, my units. They've got three units. And this has got zero units. So do I need to look any further? No, because I look at my three and I look at zero and they are different. So which is larger, three units or no units? Correct, three units is largest. So my arrow is going to face that way. 73.1 is greater than 70.1. Okay, okay. Now, I've got a couple here that you might have similar um, in your activities, and they are there to try and trick you out. So what I want you guys to do, please, is pause the video for me and have a go at doing these. Don't be fooled. Make sure you check in whether they've both got tens and units or whether one's got slightly different there and whether they've got the same amount of digits before you actually start looking at the most significant number. OK, so pause it and off you go. Okay, so hopefully you've had a quick little go at those. And like I said, I tried to catch you out, especially on this first one. So you can see that I've labelled the top of these and these do look different to each other, don't they? And the way they look different is because I've got, oops, I've got units here and then my decimal point and then I've got tenths and hundredths. And then on this one, I've got tens and units and then tenths. So 7.57 75.7 so already if I had my tens here I've not got any tens but this one has got seven tens so straight away without doing anything I can see that this is larger than this so which symbol did you put in the middle you should have got that symbol and well done if you got that correct okay then let's have a look at this one so I've got 35.07, and then I've got 35.072. So this is longer than this, isn't it? I've got one, two, three, four digits. Here I've got one, two, three, four, five. So we know that we need to make it even by adding my thousandths column, like I've got here. So if I add my thousands just there, squeeze it in, you can see now that I've got 35.070, 35.072. So this was why I was trying to trick you out, because all of this is the same, isn't it? All of that is the same. So I can't actually compare it because they are equal. However, then I look at my thousandths column and I've got two thousandths here. And then I look at this thousandths column, which I did add on, which I asked you guys to do, and I've got zero. So hopefully you know that the two thousandths is larger than the zero, and therefore my arrow 
is going to go this way. If you got that correct, very, very well done. Just make sure that you've got that visible so that I can see how you've worked it out, okay? So your objective today is to compare numbers, including decimals. It is decimals that we are comparing, okay? Um, it's a, a really, really nice activity that you guys are going to be doing today. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how you get on with this because tomorrow we're then going to actually be ordering numbers. So we need to get this perfect before we can move on to do that tomorrow. Okay, so good luck everybody with your learning today.